it's him that forces Headley to stick it. Puck comes round to Joe Baird and his shot is just past the post. Nags tries to keep the shot alive and it will come out the other way to Van Cleef who gets stood up well by Joe Baird and Nags picks up the pieces to see the bees take it back into their own end. Looking to send Zach Milton high as he gets held up on the blue line. Josh Ely Newman picks up the rebound, throws it in on net and with one and 40 gone in the first it's the bees who get themselves on the scoreboard over the glove side of Jordan Headley. A lovely finish from Josh Ely Newman. And it's not a slow start from the bees here. The hive is alive. The bees are up by one. Into well, the boards well by Brendan Baird. And then Goodbye comes in to try and help pick up the pieces. Gets it stuck under his skates. And eventually the bees do clear through Ely Newman. It's a nice pass out to Zach Milton, who skates in one on one. It's a good save by Headley. There is a penalty on the play here. He was in the motion of shooting. We're not going to have a penalty shot, just a hooking on the play. Aaron Nell desperately trying to get back, take nothing away from Jordan Headley's save, but the Bees going on another power play. Smith back to Mogg at the point. Mogg looking to throw it on net, but all he finds is a Wildcats man. Don't clear the zone, though, because Stuart Mogg keeps it in with a mixture of face and chest. Gets it back to Malik on the point, who rolls it across to Brenda Baird. Brenda Baird with the shot, rebound in the slot, and it's there for Aidan Downey. The Bees make it pay with exactly 10 minutes gone. They find themselves two in front, making the most of that power play opportunity. Well, it took them a little while to break down the first power play. They got to it around about 140 into it, but just couldn't make any of those chances count. That time, a much quicker it's reaction. It off to Jones. Jones going to work it to the net, but it's held up as it goes round to Bebris. Bebris gets it back to the point. Will collect the shot off a rebound. Net off, it's mooring, and there'll be no goal, even though it's been buried by Thomas Malazinski. The net had just come off its mooring before the shot. Referee Jarvie instantly waving it off. The Wildcats thought they got themselves a goal back there, but no real complaints from the Wildcats. Off of the point, creeps in, shot off the shin guards of Mog. 55 seconds A power play as Jones with it again, lays it to Nell. Back door into Bebris with the drive, rebound in the slot. Bodies falling on the floor, a great save from Goss. Stops Aaron Nell from putting that one in the back of the net. Still alive though for the Wildcats in the zone. As it's at 40 seconds and five on three remaining here. Careless from Van Cleef. Wildcats going to come at speed through Van Cleef. Van Cleef is already over the blue line. He's going to go round the back of the net, lays it off to Nell. Nell across to his man, 26 seconds. Nell lays it into Van Cleef. Back to Nell, whose shot is off the post and wide. Nell with the puck again, picks it up. Back to Van Cleef, top of the point. In deep, man in the slot, his ruck hit. And eventually the Wildcats find a way to breach the bees there. It took until the remaining 12 seconds at the five on three to do so. But the Wildcats get themselves on the scoreboard. Neil Newman looking for a layoff, but all he can find is Neil Lydiard as he works it around the boards. Nags has to make the decision whether to go or stay. Makes the right one as the Wildcats are forced back into their own end. Lydiard will look to send it high and long up to Rutkis. Rutkis dances over the blue line, gets the lane to Lawrence Taylor, who fans on the shot. Rebound still in there. And the Wildcats make the most as the rebound fell into an awkward position. And just like that, we tied it two at the Hi. Well, we're not a flashy team by any stretch of the imagination. There are some teams that are absolutely flash, full of highlight real talent, but we are a fighting team. Taylor back to Lydiard on the point, across to Plews. Plews throws it through a screen shot, past the post. Nags picks up the rebound and will get his head up and will go the other way and maybe a chance here as Nags guns it forward. He's got Galaxy looking for the tip at the net. Doesn't find it. The Wildcats will send the men in as Downey steps off the bench. He'll work the opportunity! Aidan Downey gets the ball for the Bees to put them back in the lead. With 10 and 3 played in the third, it was hard work, it was determination, but in the end, a lovely finish over the blocker from Aidan Downey puts the bees back into a 3 2 lead. Can't well, control it, it the first time of asking, or the second, so the Wildcats will come flying in now. Jones going to work it around the back of the net, looking to find something. Goes back to the forehand, throws it on there. Malazinski in there, going to get a chance at the near post. Downey doing the work at the other end. Malazinski still with him, frozen in the crease, and it's a swarm of bodies. 
Wildcats still with it though as Malazinski looks to wheel it around. He gets broken up. Bees just need to clear it. Khan, great save by Goss. Once Harvey Stead throwing his body on the line now. The Bees need to clear the puck here and eventually they do the so. Point. Van Cleef looks to turn around and create something. Guns it into the slot. Rebound comes out the other side where Van Cleef collects. 13 seconds. Bees get the stick in the play. Breaking into neutralize. Final 10 seconds. Van Cleef with it. Turns it over to Ryan Webb. Webb's got a chance to seal it. It doesn't seal it, but does enough. It's a victory for the Bees. And what a game that was. It had everything.